Well, welcome to our family Monday messy fun. Now, we had planned to do in church an Easter party, but obviously under the current conditions that's not been possible, so we've done some online fun instead. Yes. Now, before we start with what happened today, what we remember today, we're going to go to the beginning of the Holy Week story. So, William, can you open the egg for us? Okay. There is a leaf inside the egg. Let's do the first bit of the story to find out the significance of a leaf. It was time for a special festival called Passover. Jesus and lots of people were going to Jerusalem to celebrate. Jesus said to two of his friends, Go into the village, you'll find a young donkey, untie it and bring it to me. So the disciples did just as Jesus asked. Then Jesus got on the donkey and started to ride out to Jerusalem. Great crowds of people cheered for Jesus. They waved palm branches and they spread their cloaks out on the road, shouting, Hosanna! Hosanna! The first of our cross is to have a go at making your own palm cross. So to do this you need a long strip of card or paper. And if you haven't got any card or paper this long, then you can just stick some bits together. So it's important though to taper one end so it's thin at one end to thick at the other. If you have the thin end facing away from you then what you can do is fold down the thin end about two thirds of the way down just like so and then probably an inch or two fold it back but at a right angle so that you're tapered part goes off to the side like so. Then what you need to do to make the, the arms of your cross is to fold that in front and fold it back again and you can see you have now the shape of a cross but you've got all this taper left so what you need to do is fold it so that your taper bit goes to one of the corners and wrap it round to the opposite corner. Then you're going to fold it so it comes across the main part of your cross to that corner and then fold it to the opposite corner. You end up with a, another smaller cross on the inside. And then you can just tuck this bit in the back or tape it down and you have your own palm cross. Here are some more instructions that you can follow at your own pace. So, we've looked at the beginning of the story, Palm Sunday. Let's jump to today, Monday, Thursday. Have a look in the egg to see what's inside. We've got a piece of bread. A piece of bread. So we're going to do the next bit of the story and find out why that is significant. On the day of the Passover, Jesus shared one last supper with his friends. That night, he said things to remember him as Jesus knew he was going to sadly die. Before they all sat down to eat, Jesus took a towel, poured some water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet. This was usually a job for a servant, yet here was Jesus doing exactly that. At the meal, Jesus took a loaf of bread, thanked God for the food, and shared it, saying, Take, eat, this is my body. Then he took a cup of wine, thanked God, and shared it, saying, Take, drink, this is my blood. So this was Jesus' Last Supper. Here is the famous painting by da Vinci of the Last Supper. Why don't you have a go at creating your own version of the classic painting using paint, crayons, pencils or felt tip pens. Another activity that you can do is blowing bubbles. When you do this, Try and think about the soapy water that Jesus used to wash the disciples' feet. Also, why don't you set the table?
Jesus and his disciples shared their last supper together, the Passover meal, a very special dinner. I wonder how you can set the table for tonight's meal and make it special. So, William, we've looked at Jesus' Last Supper. Would you like to look in the egg to see what is, comes next? There is a picture of praying hands on a piece of paper. Well, let's do next bit of story and find out why we've got some praying hands. When the meal was over, they walked to an orchard of olive trees called Gethsemane. When they got there, Jesus took Peter, James and John with him, saying, Come, keep watch. He was very upset. Jesus then left them to keep watch while he went a little further and knelt to pray. Father, save me if you can. This is a game that you can play called Jerusalem Gate. Jesus and the disciples left the gates after the Last Supper and return to the Mount of Olives for the night. Play a game of Jerusalem Gates in your back garden. It's a bit like tag stuck in the mud. When you get tagged, stand still with your legs apart like a gate. Someone else will crawl through your legs or under your arms to get you moving again. The activity you can do is teardrop prayers. Even though Jesus knew what was to come, he still prayed. Draw a teardrop on paper and write inside the tear any prayers of sadness or worry that you might have. God hears all of our prayers, so do share with him what is on your heart. Dear God, I feel worried and pray things to go back to normal. Oh. Amen! Dear God, I am sad about the virus because lots of people are in. So now we know the events of Monday, Thursday, but the story doesn't end there. So I thought it'd be nice to share the rest of the story and a few ideas for some activities should you wish to do them in the next couple of days leading up to Easter Sunday. And we'll finish with an Easter challenge, so watch out for that at the end. So the next bit of the story, Charlotte, do you want to open the egg and see what's inside? There's a crown of thorns. Crown of Thorns. So, should we find out about the next part of the story and find out why that's important? Later that night, Jesus was arrested, even though he hadn't done anything wrong. Four soldiers put a crown of thorns on Jesus' head. His enemies told lies about him. Jesus had to carry a large cross up the hill. He was nailed to the cross and left there to die. This is a day we remember tomorrow, Good Friday. So the craft that you can do for Good Friday is to make an aluminium cross. Now Good Friday is a day of pain with Jesus on the cross, but we know that the Easter story doesn't end there, because three days later he does rise. But whilst we think about Monday, Thursday and the pain of Friday, we can make an aluminium cross. Okay, this is an aluminium foil. Just screw it up to make the large part of your cross. Sunday when you can screw it up into a ball 
it looks a bit like a large stone and the relevance of that will become clear. So William, it's a bit of a sad part of the story at the moment isn't it? Yeah. Do you want to open the egg to see what's in the next? Okay. There's a big stone in the egg. It's a big stone because when Jesus' body was taken down from the cross, it was placed in a tomb and a large stone was rolled in front of the tomb. Shall we find out what happens after that? Yeah. That's our last egg. You tell me what's inside. Can you find anything or is it empty? Empty. Show the egg. It's empty. Shall we find out why the egg is empty? Three days later, three women went to the tomb to put spices on Jesus' body. But when they got there, they were in for a shock. The stone had been rolled away and Jesus' body was gone. Okay, so that is the amazing story of Jesus' last week, the Easter story. Now, after Jesus died and came back to life again, that means he was resurrected. And he appeared to his disciples several times mm -hmm. without the use of a door often. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. So our challenge this Easter is to create our own doorway. You are going to, with one pair of scissors and one sheet of paper, no tape, no extra sheet, create a hole, cut a hole in the piece of paper big enough to go through. Okay, do you think that's possible? No. no. Well, it is, but I'm not going to tell you how you can do it. I will post the solution on Easter Sunday. In the meantime, do send us your attempts or solutions if you've worked it out. And that's all that leaves me to say is good luck. So, we hope you've enjoyed uh, messy Monday Thursday fun. If you'd like to send in any pictures, Easter pictures, um, Reverend Beth has said she'd like to show a few at the service online on Sunday, so do send us those. Otherwise, I think we're finished with a prayer. Would you put your hands together? Dear God, we thank you for this glorious celebration of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus. He is, he is risen. risen. We are not surprised that the tomb is empty. He has risen just as he said he would. In his name we pray. Amen. Amen.